a treat today i always love a good podcast i I love when a podcast is the essence of podcast there's just two people and they're going at each other and that's what you're about to see in this i got two clips so i have joe rogan and he's talking about the wonderful well-loved by all people Hillary Clinton, and he's just talking about some things that have happened around her and close to her, none of which are her fault, just want to put that out there, and then we have Patrick Bet David speaking with Anthony Weiner. If you don't know Patrick Bet David, he's known for asking really tough questions, he's known for being very open-minded, having people of all types of viewpoints on his show. He blindsides Anthony Weiner with this question that he asks him. I'm just going to say it. He brings out the list of bodies that have uh, passed away near Hillary Clinton and people who have worked with Hillary Clinton. Anthony Weiner is not expecting this at all. And his answer to this question, the way that he becomes unhinged, just says it all. It's really, really interesting. And one name that they bring up I'm actually going to play a clip of Joe Rogan, and he actually explains this man and how he passed away. And when you hear that, I don't don't know how you're going to think about it, but it's wild. Before I show you those clips, just want to bring you to the store. This is the certified Pure Blood t-shirt. For those of you who survived the biggest psychological experiment known to man, get your certificate of achievement with the certified pure blood shirt, unjabbed and proud. What we also have is the infamous public enemy number one t-shirt as well. (laughs) I love this shirt, man. I love that I made this one. It says it all right there. If you don't know who this man is, look him up, Mr. Klaus Schwab. Also, we have here the Great Resist shirt. Do not join the Great Reset, join the Great Resist instead. Nobody wants to sit around 15 minutes away from their house eating crickets, not allowed to drive their car or use a gas stove. Nobody wants that type of life. I know you don't. I know I don't. You can get all of those garments that I just showed you on imcoachcolin.com. And I showed you t-shirts, but we have t-shirts for men and women. We have tank tops for men and women and a hoodie like I'm wearing right now in all of those uh, different designs. So if you want 10% off, no problem, I got you. All you gotta do is put in the discount code area, I am Coach Colin. Again, it is I am Coach Colin, all capital letters, all one word, one L in the name Colin, and that gets you 10% off. And if you've done that on our site already, thank you, thank you, thank you. You are much appreciated. Now let's check out this wildness. Let's go. Clintons. And the death pool. This is not a conspiracy. You got the names of James McDougal, okay, Clinton's convicted Whitewater partner, died of an apparent heart attack. You know, Mary Mahoney, a former White House intern, was murdered July 1997 at a Starbucks coffee shop in Georgetown. Ron Brown, he died in a in a plane crash. Vince Foster was in. Vince Foster was the next one. He, by the way, the, the James Dougal was a key witness in a, a key Ken Starr Ron investigation. Ron Brown was in a plane crash. Why is he on the list? Ron Brown is another one, but there was a close person to this. Victor Razor. You got Paul Tooley, Ed Woolley. Wait a minute. Wiley. You're, you're reading a list of people that Bill and Hillary Clinton I'm asking knew. You, they're 80, well, they're 70 but wait a minute. years old. I'm asking course, you this question. Die. I'm asking you this question and an answer at the end. So you got Jerry Parks, Jane Bunch, James oh, Wilson, you're Kathy better. Ferguson, you're, Bill Shelton, Candy Bow, Florence Powell. Martin, Susan Coleman, Paula Grober, Dan. Danny uh, Casolero, Paula Wilker, John uh, Parnell Walker, Barbara Weiss. We should verify this yourself because you're, you're running a radio show. You should look it up. I Charles don't know Meisner, any of these Dr. Names, Stanley Hurd, Barry Beal, Barry Seal, Here, can, Johnny Longhorn, Stanley Can you read me the URL Stanley you're Higgins, reading? Can you read me the URL Herschel, you're reading? We'll send you to the most credible no, no, source you can look it up. Let your listeners know what you're, what we you're reading We'll put the link up. below. We'll put the Just link below. Just tell me so I know what I'm responding to. Herschel Friday, Kevin Ivey, Dan Henry, Keith Coney. <laughs> and these were a uh, 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 part of the Ivy Henry case. Keith McCaskill. What's the Ivy Henry case? Uh, you can look it up. Really quick, look at that one. Died, stabbed 113 times, 1988. Holy wow. Jeez. Amazing. There's about uh, 15, 16 more names. So I'm just going to let them read those off, and then you can see them really. Ivy Henry case. So 
Gregory Collins, Jeff Rhodes, James Milland, Richard Winter, and then you got the close bodyguards, Major Kemsick, William Barkley, Captain Scott Reynolds, uh, Brian Hanley, Tim Sable, what General you, William you Robertson, don't even know what you're William a list of. How is this, Densper, how is this helpful? Robert Kelly, Colonel uh, Gary Rhodes, uh, uh, right. Steve Wills, Robert Williams, Conway LeBlue, Todd McKeon. I'm done. It's 46 names. And of what? Can you I, read me I, the list? Can you I, read me the URL so I, I know what you read uh, a list uh, of? Uh, when I, I finish, when I finish this, when I finish this, still in the storm.com. You can look it still up. Still so in the storm.com. You can this look it up. This is your big moment, guys. Yeah. So you you can go. And by the way, a ads about chemtrails at the end of by, it. He hasn't even asked the question. By the he's way, just he, reading the article. He's reading. Oh, he's reading a list of names. So he hasn't even asked the question. It's a list. The fact that you're getting nervous is an answer. It's not nervous. I just this stuff makes me sick when you repeat Exactly. Makes us sick as well. It also it makes obviously us sick. doesn't. It of course, obviously because doesn't. the establishment you makes us sick. You start the question by reading a list of well Your reaction is an answer. Conspiracy. I know these things make me sick, and people Your have gotten killed. Your reaction is an answer. Someone went into a pizza yes. parlor in Washington because they believe this shit, and Your, you're making an echo chamber. Your reaction is an answer. So let me go to it here now. No, no, so, no, no, so, no, 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 no. Your reaction you're not going to read an a answer. list. Yeah, my reaction is my reaction. Yeah, exactly. Can you tell me what that list, in your view, you what, haven't allowed me to finish? If you allow me yeah, to finish the you're question, reading 46 then random you can names do off the internet whatever you want. Of, of some fucking insane mm. website. I love your answer. And these people, that, and these people, who you don't even know who they are, you're reading them on a list of something, making some kind of in, 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 as if it's somehow suspicious. You don't even know who these human beings are, who have families, who are like out there. And now I'll you spend and the you're next reading, two hours with you, one by one by one, explaining fine, each, each of these individuals fine, are. If you want to do fine. that, how about you pick one? Pick one and tell me who he was and what his story was. Uh, no, 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 not you. You were asking me the question. Pick one name I and will. then tell me. Pull up Vince Foster if you want. No, go, Vince go. Foster, that suicide has been investigated 50 times. Pull yeah. up some, one of the obscure names you pulled. Yeah, you, Why did you pull Ron Brown? Here, let me read Ron Brown. Ron Brown, a commerce secretary who, who a plane crashed while he was on a humanitarian mission, crashed into the side of a mountain. So what do you want to know about Ron Brown? What now, the name Patrick brought up was Vince Foster. And I think Patrick brought, brought uh, that name up because there was actually a book written about Vince Foster. So let me just pull up uh, Rogan talking about Vince Foster because Rogan used to touch on this stuff a whole bunch back in the day. Not too far back in the day, but he used to talk about this quite a bit. Let's, uh, let's get into that one. Let's switch it up here. Boom. Let's go. Lawyer. And I mean, what that's about what all the shit that went down in Arkansas? The shit that the whole they were all accused of back in the day. What was that? The uh, the Whitewater thing. Whitewater yeah. fucking yeah. the, the Whitewater yeah. shit. Like and just the string of people that have been fucking whacked. Who tried How about to... Vince Foster? Yo, what the? There's a great book I read a long time ago called <laughs> The Strange Death of Vince Foster. It's like, wait a minute, what? They found the gun in his hand, which you never do when you kill yourself. When you shoot yourself, when you shoot yourself, and you pull that trigger, blam. Everything the, goes, yeah. the gun goes flying. You don't hold on to it. There's recoil yeah. in the gun. It's yes. like, you know. It's... And you blew your brains out. You're not holding your gun anymore. It goes flying. And he, was, he had the gun in his hand, and the blood that was missing from his body was not on the scene of the crime. So the researchers think that they moved his body. He they was think, dead. They yeah, put him there and yeah. rigged the crime scene. And then put a gun in his hand. Up, oh, case closed. But How? what was he testifying? <laughs> he was going and fucking. He, he knew he had information about Whitewater. Yeah. You know, I mean, what he was going to say, and who, who knows? They killed him. We'll yeah. never find out. How about the guy that uh, was one of the, the whistleblowers for Enron, shot himself in the head twice? <laughs> How'd he do that? That shit's hilarious. <laughs> you shoot yourself in the head twice. Well, case closed. That's clearly a suicide. I mean, I guess you could kind of graze your head if you pussied out, like, ah! And you're like, fuck, I'm bleeding. I, ah, boom. Yeah, yeah. You could do it. It is possible. But it's more likely somebody killed them. Yeah, it's just there's... People kill people. It's yeah. part of the thing. When you're involved with billion-dollar deals with giant corporations and they also tied into the military-industrial complex, who, by the way kill innocents all the time and write it off like all this this shit that happened with drones what's the number it's like in the high 80s or 90 percent innocent people killed by drones they don't worry yeah. about that you think they're going to worry about some guy who's going to sink monsanto or sink Enron oh, yeah. or sink the clintons or sink anybody fuck that send the boys yep. get them whacked yeah clean it up <laughs> wow so that was joe rogan's take on uh that's a whole clip of him just talking about Hillary Clinton and all the stuff she's done. But now let's get back to the Anthony Weiner unhinged clip. So now they're still discussing this. Patrick Bet David still hasn't gotten to answer his, uh, ask his question. 
Still hasn't asked the question. Anthony Weiner's just going on and on and on and constantly trying to deflect and move the conversation to different places, focus on different points of the conversation rather than what Patrick Bed David is trying to get at. And it's all very, very interesting to see. So let's play a little bit more of this clip. Let me just pull this up for you guys. There it is. Let's go. I'm sorry, I'm the host. You invite yeah. me to your podcast, you get to ask the question. I'm, I'm the host. Is, well, what's I'm going to ask you the question. You haven't I, let I, me answer I, the question. I, I didn't see your the reaction is already an answer. I know. I am infuriated by people I who drag other why people's you name would be. who are powerless. You're not powerless. Hillary Clinton is powerless? Not, no, these people. Hillary Clinton these is powerless. These people. That's the problem. These people. Hillary's the problem. You read a list of people because you have the power people. to do it. People who do that are bullies, and I don't appreciate bullies. I have the power to do what? You do. To read a list of some stranger's name. I have the power to use the DOJ and other things to control. That's not things? DOJ. Yeah. DOJ me, didn't make this let list. Let me finish up some my question. Some jackass made a list in his basement. You have the right You're to reading answer. their names as if they're incriminating you in some way. You have the right to That's answer. That's bullying, and you I don't appreciate And I, I stand up against bullies. Please do so. He hasn't You're, even asked the question yet, he's Anthony. He's reading a list, and he's refused. And now he says, let's move on. No, no. Because I set your answer Nobody already. has said move on. He hasn't on. even You're asked panicking. the question. I don't know what the question is. Pick a name. I'm going to ask you a question. Reading a, and you get a to list answer of people who probably not answer. And there are some of those people that had military titles in front of them, exactly. and you're dragging their That's name. Even the point. You're dragging their name That's through the, even the point. You should be ashamed of yourself. Because their families would want to know. Because you've got a podcast. Some of their you families would want to know. Some conspiracy theory podcast, uh, uh, some conspiracy theory oh, that nine people I read. You. you find some guy that comes in, and then you buddy. go, you go from Ron Brown to some obscure officer yes. that used to protect Bill Clinton, who passed away. May he, may be, may he rest in peace for his service. All of them rest and you are dragging them into some may, wacky may conspiracy all of them rest theory. In peace. May all of them rest in peace. So here's the question for you, because millions of people are not convinced Hillary Clinton is Again, a good person. Again, with the other people. Millions Including of people. Including myself. If you want to do yeah, that, yeah, I'm not, put, a, put the questions I'm not in your worried own. about Don't to Don't try to make it about some bozo so, who put up a website. Put so in your own words. Here's a question for you, Guy. It's a very simple question for you. So how is it, when you think about other candidates, Okay, everybody has a stereotype. You have a reputation whether you like it or not. What's your reputation? Your reputation is you like to text underage girls and you like to talk to girls and you sex sending pictures of your dangling. That's your reputation. Whatever you do, you can't do anything about it. Adam has a reputation. Adam is a playboy in Miami. You better get back to that he, list of strangers oh, uh, you trust read a list me, of. I'm getting back to it. Tom's got a reputation. His reputation is a man who And right loves now your reputation is listing and, strangers and I, who served in the I, military and I, dragging their names. I have the a reputation to ask tough questions and piss some people like you off. That's and my including reputation. Dead, including dead people who I'm going to stand oh, up for. Oh, trust me. We are standing up for them more than you are let's standing say, up for them. Let's see. You better my get back to that list because question, we're going to clear some people's my, names today. My question for you is, my question for you is, how is it that in the last 50 years, we don't have a single candidate... Everybody has their own. Hey, John F. K. was a playboy with Marilyn Monroe. Trump, Karen McDougal, Stormy Daniels. You know, George Bush linked to 9-11 and weapons of mass destruction. Bill Clinton linked to Arkansas women, all this others. Everybody has a reputation. How is it that the reputation that follows them is people close to them die? Why right. is that a story that people, many people believe in? Why is how, that? Are the Clintons in their 70s yet? If I, you don't think I can make a list of other people who are 70 something years old and say this person died, How come that they person done died, that with this Bush? person died. Hold on. How come they haven't done that with Bush? He's in the same, same I age. I have no freaking idea why they haven't done that with Trump. How come they done, haven't done that with Trump? Say, but, so are you saying, so you agree with what How I'm saying? How come they haven't done that with Reagan? So How come they haven't done that with Kerry? What point are you making about these men and women How who you listed? How is it so many people close to them die? How is it so many people, people close, close to, to them everybody as dies? How is are it you so suggesting? Many Okay. I'm asking the question. You're is what asking I'm doing. a bizarre question. Exactly. Did it's people die? You off. Did people die? No. What pisses me off, and I'm going to say what? this again because you, you apparently are not listening to me. You read a list yeah. of people off an obscure website that 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 of, of conspiracy theory, taking a Venn diagram of everyone that ever worked in the orbit of someone who served in public life for 50 years, and you listed them, including people in the military, including strangers you could not pull out of, a, and you are implying. Let me, let me that, simplify that there's something for you, to fair. Let, let me finish oh, my thought. Let me finish my thought. Please do so, because I got another let me finish my thought. in here for you. You're implying both yeah. with the question and with the website. The website says it explicitly. I you're implying you it. Website. Let me finish. Go ahead. You're Don't implying that until, something. Until he's done. You Don't are pull it up until he's done. Go for it. You are implying that something nefarious is afoot both with the question yeah. and with the list. 
Hillary Clinton, she's a big girl. I'm a big boy, you're a big boy. The people that you just listed. They're all. Listen to me. No. Yeah. These are obscure people that you could you're not pull out of. You're a great politician, buddy. Wait a minute. Hold on. Let me, let me, Fantastic. Let me, you know what? You are, you are, you are the yeah. classic bully. You list someone's name. You are and Are you going to go back if and clarify? If there's anybody that's the bully, you going to go clarify? You know what the are you gonna clarify of your personality this list? is. You want to really know, you know can, that. Ad hominem attack on me yeah. is going to somehow classic clear that bully. person's name? There isn't anybody at this table that's a bigger bully than I you. I tell you. Oh. Wow. Wow. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> this clip goes on for like another eight minutes or so. This is a great podcast. Great podcast. Completely caught him off guard with that. He had no idea that that was coming. I mean, when's the last time you heard somebody talking about the body count, right? The, the whole Clinton body count thing. Whoa. Whoa. And listen, let's get right to it. He answered that like a man who was very nervous, like a man who had a lot to lose if if he said the wrong thing or even alluded to verifying what Patrick was was asking him. He he was trying to divert and dodge and duck and let's focus on the names and let's focus on you and what you're doing here with these allegations. He was oh man. That was wild. He was answering like a very nervous person. Very nervous person. Jeez. That was amazing. People haven't brought that up in a long time. And, uh, yeah, if you were to look into that, you'd see all sorts of weird instances. But, I mean, just so you know, I mean, I think she's wonderful. I think she's a wonderful lady. Uh, a very wide collection of pantsuits that all um, that all look very nice. And um, when she was trying to get the black vote, she she walked around with a bottle of hot sauce inside of her purse to, p to please the blacks. And I was very pleased. I love a good bottle of hot sauce. I have one right here. I can't show it to you, but it's right here. I just, I just, uh, I just pour it into my mouth every once in a while. Um, <laughs> great lady, great lady. That Bill, that Bill saxophone, you know, loves a good, you know, you know what he, what he loves, right? And uh, yeah, this is a great couple. Just a great power couple, those two. <laughs> and I'm not suicidal. I, I would never do anything to hurt myself. I'm just saying. Uh, <laughs> but uh, check out the podcast, um, Patrick Bet David podcast. Just type in Patrick Bet David Anthony Weiner, and uh, it'll pop up. Put that in Spotify or on YouTube. That'll pop up. It's a great, great podcast. There's a lot of I've never seen someone get Patrick so upset. Like he's really riled up. He never gets loud like this. He never gets like really at people like this. You know, he had a real bone to pick with Anthony Weiner, and he really doesn't like the establishment. He doesn't like who Anthony Weiner was um, aligned with, and he doesn't like what An Anthony Weiner did. I mean, that's why he brought it up about the underage girls and everything. You know, that guy himself has kids, so, you know, it gets under your skin having to be in the same room with that person, I'm sure. But he did it nonetheless, and that's the great thing about Patrick Bed David. He's willing to have conversations with people who he even detests, always always willing to be uh, open-minded to their views. Really interesting podcast. But what do you think? Tell me in the comments what you think. You think he was answering? You think it was like a normal answering? I really don't think so. I watched the whole podcast. He was not this agitated until they brought up the Clintons and they brought up this whole list. And it's a long list, man. As, as many, <laughs> almost as many, I th how many presidents? For, it was as many as there are presidents. That's that's weird. No? Isn't that a little weird? As many people passed away as there are presidents. <sighs> and, you know, people do pass away. But um it's just very interesting. <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comments. Like the video. Boost us out of the shadow realm. Subscribe if you are not subscribed already. We are making one to three videos every day. Who else is doing that? I don't know many. This was episode 497, Soul Not For Sale podcast. And other than that, I am out.